I welcome all the participants in our today's seminar. This seminar series is part of DAS event calendar and is carried out on every Thursday at 2 p.m. Today, the topic of our seminar is data analysis using MS Excel and SPSS for social sciences. And it is being presented by Dr. Badal Nasib Siddiqui, Associate Professor, Department of Agriculture Extension and Community. I hope this scientific talk will provide us an opportunity to get in depth knowledge on the topic. And after the presentation, there will be a question answer session where participants can ask their questions. Over to Dr. Badal Nasib. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Saab. Thank you very much, Dr. Saab. Uh, I welcome all the participants uh, being present in the seminar. Uh, let's uh, start with the some facts and finding. Uh, because data analysis uh, is related to statistics. And uh, here I am presenting some brief about the data, what kind of data and what is statistics and why statistics is necessary. Uh, like other sciences, like other sciences, uh, statistics is also a science uh, which is conducting of studies to collect, organize, summarize, and analyze, and present an interpretation of the collected data. So I'm just sharing a screen with you. Uh, my today topic uh, is uh, data analysis using SPSS and X MS Excel. Before uh, we going to uh, start uh, Excel and SPSS, I just want to uh, clear uh, what is uh, the objective of this seminar uh, to clarify the definition of stat statistics after the uh, seminar. Uh, most of the people will be able to understand and uh, to understand different level of measurement, uh, they are, will be able to understand different type of data. Uh, and also the most important thing to use MS Excel and SPSS effectively for data entry and analysis. Uh, so first of all, uh, the statistics, uh, like many other sciences, mathematics, physics, medicine, agriculture, or any other, the science of uh, conducting studies to collect, organize, summarize, uh, and just uh, over present, interpret, and draw conclusion from data. Uh, data is uh, any value or observation or measurement that can be collected through various uh, procedures. Uh, question arises, what are the statistics? Uh, I already told you that uh, uh, this is the science of collecting, characterization, presenting, and interpretation of data. Uh, this is an example for uh, data collection. Uh, we can collect data from sample survey, observation, simulation, and then the characterization of the data is uh, take place. Uh, this is the uh, organization of data, classification, count, summarize, uh, everything is included in the characterization of data. And that uh, the, after the analysis, data presentation, is the part and that is in the part of uh, tables, charts, and statements uh, that can be presented in the three parts. Uh, after that, the final part of the data analysis or the statistic interpretation of data, this is uh, infer, conclude, specify, or uh, conclude the data. Uh, why do we need data analysis or who, uh, who are uh, those who analyze, analyze the data? Uh, first of all, why do we need data analysis? If somebody made any mistake at any of these steps uh, I previously defined, then here this decision making, his decision making process and uh, their conclusion will be wrong. That's why the data analysis uh, is uh, very important. Uh, and in terms of the methodology, how data has been collected, 
our data has been entered in the SPSS or any software like R, SPSS, one, two, three, Lotus, or Minitab, whatsoever. Uh, where we can use this statistics or who or who, who sciences very or which sciences are uh, use statistics or this kind of statistics that is mathematics, physical sciences, astronomy, education, agriculture, business, economics, and even government uh, policies. They are making data analysis uh, for using this data analysis for census reporting, planning for future and national defense of many things. Uh, you can say data analysis or statistics can be used in every field of life or in every field of science. Uh, basic concept uh, of uh, data, uh, data set, uh, set of values. Uh, what are the data? What is data? These are the basic uh, set of values of one or more variables recorded on one or more observation units. Uh, that is, data is a plural and a singular uh, data. What are the sources of data collection? Uh, one can uh, record data from uh, routinely kept reports from previous findings. Uh, you can collect data from surveys. We can collect, uh, one can collect data from experiment, uh, what kind of experiment, but we can collect data from experiment or can external sources also can be utilized in the data sources. Uh, however, uh, there are categories, some categories of data collected, data, primary data that can be collected by oneself or by researcher himself. Uh, they can be collected from observation, which is a basic form of data collection, questionnaire, interview schedule, record, movies, interview, survey. Uh, there are many types of data collection category uh, in primary data. Uh, however, uh, there is a, another form of secondary data, uh, which can be collected, uh, which already published in somewhere else in government uh, records or uh, some research papers or uh, speed library uh, you can collect uh, which is already collected by someone else and reported in uh, various forms uh, data set and data tables uh, there are two terms used uh, for data set and data table data set for a set of variable collection in a group or person is called data set uh, similarly, data table, a data set organized. There are two different things. The pen data set organized into a table with one column for each variable and one row for each person. This card data table. Here I'm uh, giving an example of a table and data set. Data on the my left, there is a data set, and on the right, uh, on the right, there is a data table. For example, age in years, uh, I show this uh, uh, table in uh, age in second column. Uh, from top to bottom, there is a age in year, uh, which can be measured in year. And body mass mass index, uh, which is weight of the slight height and uh, into height square. So this is the difference between data set and data table. Uh, there are various types of uh, variables and data. What is variable? Uh, first of all, I can explain that what is a uh, variable. When collecting or organizing data, we collect data from individual cases on particular variables. A variable is a unit of data collection whose value can vary from one person to another person. And uh, in other words, variable can be defined in two types according to the level of mathematical scaling that can be carried out on the data. Uh, there are four types of uh, data or there are four types of scales of measurement for data. One is nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Because 
this is uh, important for uh, the student. Uh, they are uh, going to conduct their research. Uh, by while uh, hinting that I SPSS, uh, they can define which kind of data they are entering in uh, SPSS. So they must know about the data type or level of scale of data. Uh, nominal scale, uh, it is a categorical data in which objects fall into unordered categories. Studies measuring nominal data must ensure that each category is mutually exclusive and the system of measurement needs to be exhaustive. Variables that have only two responses is called dichotomous or yes or no is come under nominal data. Whereas ordinal data, ordinal data is the data that comprises of categories that can be ranked order. Similarly, with nominal data, the distance between each category cannot be calculated, but the categories can be ranked above or below each other. Like uh, we can say uh, somebody got A grade, B grade, C grade in class examination, uh, that are the ordinal data. Whereas nominal data, uh, we can only uh, answer in yes or no, or there are only two options for the respondent to give data. Uh, interval scale is uh, another uh, type of or a scale of measurement. Uh, for a night temperature is a uh, zero. Uh, it is a very happy, it's twice a happy as main, happy or very unhappy. Uh, third, uh, the fourth one is ratio, scale variable. The distance between any two adjacent units of measurement is the same and there is a meaningful zero point. Uh, for example, uh, height, age, weight, uh, in these categories, uh, this, uh, this come under ratio, scale measurement. Categorical data is uh, further divided into two categories. Uh, one is nominal data and second is ordinal data. The objects being studied are grouped into categories based on some qualitative field. Uh, we can combine these two data, and nominal data or ordinal data, as qualitative data or qualitative traits. When we combine uh, some groups under one category, it's called nominal data. The resulting data are rarely labels or categories. Nominal or ordinal scale will be used for categorical data or qualitative data. Uh, example of uh, nominal data, uh, for example, I, uh, if I uh, name the manufacturing of car, uh, for example, Mercedes, BMW, Toyota, or Suzuki, whatsoever, these are the uh, come under nominal data. There, if I can speak ethnicity about ethnicity, white British, Afro-Caribbean, Asian, or uh, Chinese, or other, this comes also comes under nominal data, which cannot be ignored uh, to digits. Uh, similarly, smoker or non-smoker is also uh, nominal data. Uh, some example, I already told you that grades in an exam, such as A, B, C, D, or fail, this is ordinal data. Uh, degree of illness, uh, sometimes uh, somebody more mild, moderate, acute, or chronic. This is also a kind of uh, categorical data uh, in terms of ordinal data. Opinion of the students about the stat classes, uh, maybe they are very happy, happy, neutral, or happy, or very happy. This uh, comes under ordinal data in terms of quantitative data. 
quantitative data is already uh, it is also is uh, comes under two forms one is discrete data and second is continuous data discrete data uh, discrete data only certain values are possible only certain values are possible there are gaps between the possible values uh, for example whole data 1 2 3 or 4 is come under discrete data uh, whereas uh, continuous data uh, theoretically with a fine enough layering device implies layering uh, uh, for example fahrenheit or uh, or can say uh, somebody uh, some student got Up to uh, this is our uh, SPSS. SPSS have two views. One is data view, and second is variable view. Before that, this is similar like uh, Excel. Uh, in Excel, in Excel, we can uh, find uh, where data is uh, because in uh, row. Uh, there are label a b c d or so on and uh, row uh, counted from uh, in uh, vertical form 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, when uh, we da put data some data in uh, cell b2 we can identify through the position uh, because b is uh, one column and the second row so we can uh, find our data which data we want to so in uh, variable view when uh, i mostly uh, myself use uh, excel as data entry but uh, we can use excel uh, spss as data entry form so there are two method for data entry in uh, spss when you can uh, extract data from uh, any source uh, excel csv csv data text data uh, from sas or many other software or the second is direct enter data into spss so the first column name uh, you can assign a uh, name of data for example in uh, social sciences uh, first of all we uh, use uh, Tessie, but uh, on the basis of Tessie, we can uh, analyze data and you know, make uh, ANOVA or comparison between two districts or two Tessie. So we can use, for example, uh, this column contain. Uh, you can use only thirteen character for naming a variable. No dot comma. or any other scientific notion this uh, column not allowed to enter any type of for example i am going to enter here this point but cannot accept this one because variable name contain an illegal character so legal characters are those a b c d in the form of a b c d or we can uh, use underscore for uh, naming your data and uh, this column accept up to 13 characters as long as for example uh, i am entering here uh, this is uh, and <clears throat> second uh, i am going to enter for example h education or i am going to edge you Education. For example, I am giving a space here of the 
fountains. Uh, there are spaces in between name, uh, education, then space and off, and then space T and then space. This will not acceptable in this, in this space. You can make acronyms of your question or questions. Education, sometimes we have used uh, data regarding land holding or something. Tenancy status, T and or ST, tenancy status. Similarly, uh, you can use uh, land holding and H, or you can say L underscore underscore. H. This is legal. Experience. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, you are doing the presentation. We are doing. Share it with us. Share it again. Okay. 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 ये ठीक है अभी तो मदर सर ये ओपन किया आपने जी सर ये शीट ओपन की है ना जी एसपीएसएस की शीट ओपन की है जी सर ये अभी शो हो रही है ठीक हो गया ठीक हो गया सॉरी फॉर डिस्टरबेंस अच्छा जी पार्टिसिपेंट मैं ये बता रहा था कि जब आप इसमें नेम में ऐड करते हैं कोई नाम ऐड करते हैं अपने वेरिएबल का अपने डाटे का कोई क्वेश्चन आप पूछा और उसका आप यहां पे एंटर करने लगे तो उसको आप पहले नेम अलॉट करते हैं तो फॉर एग्जांपल हम सोशल साइंस में फार्मर्स का नाम पूछते हैं वो हमारे इसमें नॉर्मली ऑप्शनल होता है अगर फार्मर बता है ये हमारे पास एज एजुकेशन और ये जो सोशो इकोनॉमिक या सोशो डेमोग्राफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स होते हैं ये हमारे पास आम तौर पे इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स कोई कोई कोरिलेशन या क्रॉस टैब या कोई एसोसिएशन या अनुभव वगैरह के लिए जो यूज करते हैं मैं मेरा कहने का मतलब बताने का उससे ये था कि आपने यहां पे इस पहले कॉलम में अपने वेरिएबल्स के नाम लिखने जिसमें के कोई स्पेसिंग कोई फुल स्टॉप कोई कॉमा और ये एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है आपने जो भी नाम लिखना अप टू 13 कैरेक्टर्स लाइक मैंने पहले आपको बताया था इसमें एक एग्जांपल देखिए फॉर एग्जांपल मैं लिखता हूं नेम ऑफ रिस्पोंडेंट्स ये क्योंकि इसमें आप देखिए स्पेसिंग यूज हुई भी है कि आप एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर इसको तो हम आम तौर पे इसको यूज करते हैं कि इसको हम एब्रिविएशन में इनके नाम जो डाटा के नाम या वेरिएबल्स के नाम जो डाटा को नाम फॉर एग्जांपल मैंने यहां पे एजुकेशन को एजुकेशन फीड किया है इस तरह टेनेंसी स्टेटस फॉर्मेट टेंट स्टेट कर दिया लैंड होल्डिंग अंडरस्कोर इसमें अलाउ है वो आप इसके साथ यूज करते हैं इसको मैं एल एच के तौर पे भी यूज कर सकता हूं यूज किया जा सकता है और इसको अंडरस्कोर के साथ भी यूज किया जा सकता है अच्छा यहां तक तो आपके जितने वेरिएबल हैं वो सारे यहां पे आ जाएंगे अगर इसको आप डाटा व्यू में जाके देखें तो आपकी जो आपने यहां पे पहले कॉलम में नाम दिए थे तो ये आपके वेरिएबल के ऊपर का जो है ये ऊपर सारे नाम आते चले गए अभी यहां पे ये जो बाहर से शो हो रही है ये आपके डाटा टाइप को बता रही है जो कि अभी हमने छेड़ा नहीं है इसको पहली स्क्रीन में हमने इसको देखा था यहां पे हमने उसको अभी तक चेक नहीं किया ये हम आगे अब यहां पे दूसरी चीज आ रही है डाटा टाइप डाटा जो है ना वो इन टर्म्स ऑफ न्यूमेरिक भी हो सकता है कोई साइंटिफिक नोटेशन भी हो सकती है दे कैन बी साइंटिफिक नोटेशन तो अगर इसको हम यहां पे जस्ट क्लिक करें तो यहां पे ये देखें मतलब किसी की ऑप्शन पॉपअप निकल आता है जिसमें यू कैन सी दैट देयर आर न्यूमेरिक डाटा यू कैन इंक्रीज द विड्थ ऑफ कॉलम एज वेल एज यू कैन और यू कैन इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स आफ्टर डेसिमल
see in, in third column there is 10 bits of this uh, 10 and decimal 5 okay uh, if uh, because name name of the respondent or the seal name or district name or country name or whatsoever they like this this you can uh, use sentences uh, this is called string data in this form uh, or this these characters also can be used up to 100 character or whatever, whatever you want. Uh, I use here mostly 20 characters because name is not in numeric form. Age is it numeric data? So you can identify here in this column, in this uh, column of uh, data view, in this column you are going to enter data in the form of numeric. But in this form, I see you put data in numeric form. They can accept, but cannot be analyzed. In this form, if you put data in a string form, for example, uh, but if not, will be acceptable because I declare here type of data as numeric data. Uh, education, you can uh, use a numeric form or string form. In numeric form, uh, sometimes, uh, most of the time, I use or my student used to collect data in the form of years, year of schooling, number of years somebody go to school. So we are not going to conduct uh, data in the form of uh, illiterate or uh, primary education or middle education or something. In that time, in that uh, case, uh, we can do distinct type of data. If we collect data in the form of primary uh, education, secondary education, or middle or person. So here we can use numeric. Uh, you can use in the form of comma if somebody wants to use uh, this data, comma or dot. If somebody use scientific notation, you can do it. You can use date, and these are the various forms of date, which kind of form you are going to use for put data in. Similarly, dollar, uh, or you can uh, customize this currency uh, in uh, your own country or uh, some other country. You can customize this. District data is uh, only leading zero. Uh, the data you have uh, zero, you know, this is in this different form. Uh, you can manage the width of uh, column with this one. For example, uh, I use 21 and rest are the eight characters. So you can use the width of the character here. Uh, in the form of the eight, you can uh, up to 20 characters. Here, column width is uh, less, so that's why you cannot be able to check here. You can use this column to increase the width of column. Uh, age is, uh, I already told in the presentation that age is a continuous data before the, uh, uh, sorry, uh, discrete data in which we are supposed to use old data. Uh, like some, uh, if you ask somebody, what is your age? He may ask that my, he may, may reply that my age is 35 years or 40 years. Or, uh, never some, uh, never uh, anybody say that I am, 29 and a half or 29 and a half. So that's why we can use here the speed data. Where we don't need two decimals. For example, uh, this is age 29.5. We cannot be able to enter. This will make the whole because we put here. Let's see. When we uh, 
the sign two uh, two decimal in data view we can see that 29 and a half appears here uh, it uh, you don't allow any decimal to become bold number this is another uh, portion but by number uh, only you can say only here you can uh, put the title of table in which form you want to appear uh, on the top of the table your title for example uh, distribution of when you are going to analyze uh, the data in the form of uh, and present in the form of table uh, you must uh, have table heading so you can give uh, in the label uh, uh, in the form uh, you want to appear table heading so after that uh, when you analyze data this heading must be a given for example this again distribution So you can carry out this type of uh, labeling of uh, your uh, tables. This is the uh, uh, values uh, because in uh, when we are going to conduct uh, data in the form of uh, questionnaire or somebody uh, collect data in the form of T one, T two, or B one, B two. Express here uh, which data uh, which data is in the form of B one or T one or which data is in the form of because we always uh, use uh, in, in the form of questionnaire uh, what is your age or sorry uh, in the Likert scale we use Likert scale uh, for data collection mostly uh, Likert scale is uh, seven point five point seven uh, in odd numbers. फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम सवाल पूछते हैं किसी से कि ये कुछ आपके सामने में स्टेटमेंट दे रहा हूं आप इनसे किस हद तक मुतफिक हैं तो उसकी ऑप्शन हम उनको प्रोवाइड करते हैं पांच ऑप्शन मैं इससे इंतहाई मुतफिक हूं किसी हद तक मुतफिक हूं मैं इससे गैर मुतालिक हूं मेरा इससे कोई ताल्लुक नहीं है या मैं इससे मुतफिक नहीं हूँ या इंतहाई गैर मुतफिक हूँ इसके साथ ये पाँच ऑप्शन है तो हम जब डाटा उसे कलेक्ट करते हैं फार्मर के साथ या किसी रिस्पॉन्डेंट के साथ होगा उसका जवाब उनमें से किसी एक ऑप्शन के तौर पर और इनको हम एक नंबर असाइन करते हैं क्वाल ये डाटा है बेसिकली क्वालिटेटिव डाटा है इनको हम नंबर असाइन करते हैं क्वान्टिटेटिव डाटा में तब्दील करने के लिए ताकि इसको क्योंकि स्टैट हमेशा न्यूमेरिक्स के ऊपर अप्लाई की जाती है नहीं तो, तो उसके ऊपर सेंटेंस के ऊपर अप्लाई नहीं की जाती है इसलिए हम उस डाटे को कन्वर्ट करते हैं इनटू इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम एस पी आप तो एक एग्जांपल भी यहाँ पे हम उस डाटे की कैटेगरीज जो है ना उसको डिस्क्राइब करते हैं अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये आगे मैं आपको दिखाऊंगा अभी डाटा एक्सल में जो डाटा मैंने बुक किया हुआ उसको इस फॉर्म में आपके साथ यहाँ पे ये कॉलम है मिसिंग वैल्यूज का इस बात का कुछ सवाल ऐसे होते हैं जब आप कुछ सवाल करते हैं या डाटा लेते हैं तो वो आपको कोई उसका जवाब नहीं मिलता और वो मिसिंग हो जाती है किसी वजह से या जब आप रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हो तो उस टाइम पे कोई ऐसा इशू हो जाता है कि आप रिकॉर्ड करने से रह जाते हैं डाटा मिसिंग हो जाता तो ये उनको डील करने के लिए हम यहाँ पे इसको उस कॉलम में बताए थे कि इसके लिए बेहतर तरीका है कि डिस्क्रीट मिसिंग वैल्यू मिसिंग वैल्यू ऑप्शन डिस्क्रीट मिसिंग वैल्यू करके हम यहाँ पे इसको कोई ऐसी वैल्यू जो आम तौर पे आप किताब में उनके आई मुश्किल हो तो आपके डाटे के अंदर अपेयर हो रही है ओरिजिनल डाटे के अंदर वो वैल्यू यहाँ पे पुट करके हम इसको 
मिसिंग वैल्यू शो कर देते हैं वो उसको डाटा एनालिसिस के अंदर उसको यूटिलाइज नहीं करता ये सॉफ्टवेयर इसी तरह से ये अगला कॉलम जो है ये डाटे की जो कॉलम की जो बिट है इस डाटा व्यू में ये उस कम या ज्यादा करने के काम आता है अगर इसमें आपने कॉलम की बिट ज्यादा करनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल एजुकेशन एज है तो आपको उसके लिए ज्यादा चीज ज्यादा बिट चाहिए तो आप यहाँ से उसकी बिट को कम या ज्यादा कर सकते हैं ये डाटे की अलाइनमेंट है If you want to align data on the left or right, I just I will show you. Uh, I align left uh, age data. I just align right and this data align uh, left because uh, we assign a uh, left and right. And you can uh, and I, uh, you can take the data and send the align at this one. From here, you can define your data in the form of nominal, ordinal, or rank uh, data, uh, as uh, I descri described in uh, presentation. Uh, researcher must know which type, which type of data he are going to, he or she are going to enter in SPSS. So, if you feel your data is ordinal type, you can. Check this one. Or otherwise, okay. Uh, there is another method uh, to uh, to enter data or to accept uh, data from other sources. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, uh, like uh, I am opening an, another data set. Okay, this is an, uh, another data set. Uh, now I import data from uh, my Excel sheet. Here. Here I added the Excel sheet. I put uh, some data here uh, with the name uh, uh, from first row. Uh, I abbreviated. Uh, I abbreviated the variable name uh, in uh, first row. Uh, here I use uh, latitude, longitude, uh, name, uh, city, or district. So now we can bring this data in SPSS. Import data from Excel file. Excel file is SPSS. On sheet one, Let's let me check the. Location of the data uh, A2. Here I uh, I put uh, 120 uh, respondents data in this. This is A uh, A2. The last data entered at U. Uh, Two to six. 
variables name from first row yes check if you are going to uh, collect data from ignore hidden row and column okay So, data from uh, cell number A two to two to six, uh, you can import. Uh, you have to import in Excel uh, in SPSS. I have mistaken this. Cell number A one two 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 six, where our data is present. I already abbreviated uh, the variable name uh, in Excel, so all the data uh, out there. Now you can uh, assign label. Uh, this is latitude. Longitude. This is optional. Let's see. Age, speed, mission. This will be the location. Speed tenancy status. Size of net net holding. Yes. Uh, here I uh, asked a question from this student that. Uh, Knowledge okay. I use this data. Uh, my one of my students uh, collected data from uh, Chapwal about the art clinics and uh, we asked uh, various sources of information. TV is a source, one source, television. Sir, data transfer ka tab. G, data, data transfer. Sir, I have not shown. Yes, sir, screen stuck. Hai. Iski, iski, acha, tab. Main dobara isko, dobara isko, dobara isko, dobara isko, dobara isko, अभी हो रही है शो? यस सर अब हो रही है। ठीक है। 
पीए Okay. Uh, we given the name of table or given the name of a variable in this column and label column. Uh, actually, uh, from uh, sewing method, a uh, land resource management or uh, uh, to, to fungal and bacterial identification. Uh, this was the only one question. Uh, in, in this question, we asked the from the respondent that. Uh, Plant clinic, uh, I are uh, plant clinic providing information regarding these three method, land resource management, agronomy practice, or something uh, on five point like that scale uh, in, uh, in, uh, in in the form of uh, poor poor pair uh, poor pair uh, medium good or high level of information they are, they are they provide information on this level. So no need to give values or uh, in this because this, uh, it is also in the form of uh, we can if we can double click here you can see in the form of uh, latitude longitude name chapal or tessile experiment okay now you will assign a tessile uh, no need to give the uh, assign because uh, we are ready to put in this form. Yeah, it's gauge. Okay. In Pestnir, we assigned, uh, we grouped uh, age into three groups. The first group comprises of up to 35. Now, thirty five add into window. Second group was medium, sorry, middle. About 35, 35 to 50. You, uh, you can hit enter, the, uh, it will automatically add in the uh, window. Third group was about 50. Okay. Now check uh, in the uh, age column. Uh, I assign a value over in the data variable view. And now you can check uh, your data in the form of. String values. Okay. 
We also categorized uh, higher education uh, zero for literate, one for up to primary, two for and three for metric. Uh, we always use uh, in social science uh, or in agriculture extension sciences uh, uh, tendency status in three groups. One is owner. Hello. Hello. Owner come. Tenant. Third one is. Tenant. So by this method, you may assign values to your uh, data. Uh, I, we have to check again here. This is my data, and you can check that we put uh, values uh, in the variable view, and you uh, one can check the uh, data type here, uh, data value. So, it, it, uh, so like this, you can uh, assign uh, all the values in this uh, column to your data. Oh, oh, the, the, uh, another thing. Uh, we asked uh, with the farmers about the sources of information. In this uh, question, we uh, and this various sources in questionnaire and the uh, farmer have a choice to answer uh, uh, to choose multiple uh, sources uh, in that question in that case we use we may use differently for example one is television because this will be analyzed in uh, different ways uh, to Okay. You can copy this from and you can paste also in both these ones. One is equal to four, two is equal to yeah. You can change any time if you feel you are, I have taken some mistakes.
copy and paste in all. Uh, so you save your time by doing cut copy, uh, copy and paste. Okay. Now your data is ready for analysis. Uh, land holding, uh, I did not give uh, uh, any value or uh, in experience. Oh, yes, you can have here. You put it in the form of PDQ. Change because uh, according to nineteen seventy five uh, constitution. Um, Definition of a small farmer, person having 12.5 acre is known as small farmer. Twelve point five to twenty five acre of land having. Large about twenty five. Okay. So your data and uh, your uh, tentative result output uh, is ready. Now you can analyze your data in various way. Uh, you can compare, you can uh, find out the frequency. This you can find out the descriptive statistic, which uh, include mean, standard deviation, standard error, whatsoever. Or you can explore, you can cross tab, or uh, you can uh, find out ratio or PP plots. You can uh, make QT plots. Similarly, you can uh, customize your tables. This is the question. Uh, you can compare means. Uh, you can make ANOVA or P or pair T test, pair sample T test, or independent T test. You can make ANOVA. You can draw ANOVA from here. And similarly, you can generate linear regression. Okay, so we are going to find out this statistic. You can select all by pressing Control A. Exclude this one and put all these variables in window in my side. There are options which type of you you want data will be present which we generate. So press OK. So you can find out how many uh, how many data you entered in uh, spaces. Uh, the number of respondents uh, for every variable was two to five. Uh, in that minimum, maximum, and mean or standard deviation of all the variables, the results have been generated in this output. From here, you can also frequency if you want to evenly or uh, you want to find out the frequency distribution of the variables of the respondents. You can put uh, sorry, no need to put this. 
Uh, if you want to make uh, charts, you want to draw charts, you can uh, check bar chart, pie chart, whatever you want, histogram, the percentage, I, I want to bar, bar chart. Continue. Hello. If you need some fertile cut points, mean standard deviation, so you can check boxes against uh, mean median, the standard deviation, uh, skewness, or purposes, whichever, which one you want. Sir, it's stuck. Sir, it's stuck. Okay, I'm going to go to the back. शेयर हुई? यस सर ओके ये। ओके। अगर आपको सेंटर डेविएशन मीन मीडियन इनमें से कोई चीज भी चाहिए तो आप उसके आगे जो चेक बॉक्स बना हो उसको चेक करें तो साथ साथ ये एनालाइज भी होता जाएगा आपका रिजल्ट उसी स्टाइल में। अब यहाँ पे जब आप ओके प्रेस करें तो नीचे आपका डाटा सारा एनालाइज हो जाता है। a distribution of the respondents ये इसका title आ गया जो हमने label में इसको assign किया था इसी तरह से education of the respondents कितने लोग अब यहाँ पे इसकी percentage और frequency यार की count इसमें आते चले गए इसी तरह से tenancy status of the respondents ये भी सारा उसकी percentage valid percentage है अच्छा इसमें ये तीन वेरिएबल मैंने इसमें कर दिए थे लेकिन ये ऐसे भी इसका एनालिसिस दूसरी तरह होगा समर्थ नहीं जैसे टेलीविजन रेडियो जिसका मैंने कहा था कि ये वो वेरिएबल है जिसमें कि हमने फार्मर्स को ऑप्शन दी थी कि वो एक से ज़्यादा जो लिस्ट किए हुए थे सोर्सेस इनफॉरमेशन की वो उनमें से चूज कर सकता है इसका एनालिसिस जो है ना ऐसे होगा कि अगर आप देखें तो इनका एनालिसिस थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट ही होगा ये मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स का केस है इसमें हम पहले उन वेरिएबल को डिफाइन करेंगे जो मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स के केसेस हैं जो रिस्पॉन्सिस हैं हमारे पास रेडियो सॉरी टेलीविजन रेडियो और मोबाइल मौजूद है जिसका असलाम वालेकुम डॉक्टर साहब नहीं नहीं कोई नहीं जी सर जी सर मेरा चल रहा है ना जी ठीक है जी सर बेशक बेशक मैं कर दूँ लगभग दस 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 पंद्रह मिनट और लगे दस पंद्रह मिनट हाँ दस पंद्रह मिनट और ठीक 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 है ठीक मेरा आ रहा है मेरा आ रहा है मैं 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 कर दूँगा सर ठीक ठीक सर ठीक है Sorry for this, sir. Carl G. Director, Advanced Studies, Director, Parish, sir. Are you coming from the internet? Sir, I have a variable. Okay, these are variables that were in the response of multiple types. So, we have now seen three categories. So, we have checked the categories. And here, we have three options. 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 टेलीविजन, रेडियो और मोबाइल वाली तो हम यहाँ पे इसको बताएंगे कि एक से लेके ऐतिहासिक में इसको हम कर देते हैं पांच ऐतिहासिक के इसमें एक से लेके पांच तक जो भी वैल्यू आएगी उसको आपने काउंट करना है इसका नाम है यहाँ पे क्योंकि हमें इसका नाम देना है वहाँ पे जो पहले कार्ड में आता है तो हम यहाँ पे हमारी टेबल आएगी और उसका हेडिंग आएगी सोर्सेस इसको हम फिर पर्दा ऐड कर देंगे लाइट साइड के कॉलम और इसको क्लोज कर देंगे इस डाटा एडिटर को बस एनालाइज में जाके मल्टीपल रिस्पांस में पहले अब आप देखिए हमारे पास फ्रीक्वेंसी वाला ऑप्शन चेक नहीं आ रही थी अब ये ओपन हो गया हम इसको करेंगे ये हमारे पास वो 
आगे जो हमने एस ओ आई टेबल नया बनाया था इसको टेबल में उसमें मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स वाले वेरिएबल का नेक्स्ट विंडो में बुक करके और हम इसको ओके की ऑप्शन देंगे कि ये हमें उसका एनालिस अब ये जो मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स का ऑप्शन अगर आप आप इसको देखें तो हमने मैंने बताया था आपके हमारे पास टू टू फाइव रिस्पॉन्स है दो सौ पच्चीस हेलो जी बेटे हेलो नहीं सॉरी अब शेयर हो रही है हेलो यस सर हो रही है अच्छा ये मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स का रिस्पॉन्स मेरे पास रिस्पॉन्डेंट जो हमने यहाँ पे ट्रीट किए थे वो 225 थे लेकिन यहाँ पे अगर आप देखें तो ये 402 आ रहे हैं क्योंकि इनमें सौ लोगों ने रेडियो को बताया कि उनकी सोर्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन है सोर्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन है इसी तरह से एक लोगों ने कहा कि टेलीविजन तो इसका मतलब है कि दोनों सोर्सेज को यूज कर रही है इतने लोग और इसी तरह से वन लोगों के पास मोबाइल सेट भी है जिससे वो इन्फॉर्मेशन हासिल कर रहे हैं इसलिए इसका जो एनालिसिस है वो समथिंग डिफरेंट मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स टाइप का अदरवाइज यहाँ पे सारे ये ये जो हमने इसको बाहर चार्ट किए थे बनाने के लिए बीच पे वेरिएबल का साथ ही अच्छा यहाँ तक अगर कोई चीज तो फिर हमारा डाटा जो है यहाँ तक खत्म हो गया क्योंकि इसमें और भी चीजें लेकिन टाइम कम यहाँ पे मैं इसको छोड़ूंगा लेकिन यहाँ से आप मुख्त किस्म के एनालिसिस रिग्रेशन को रिलेशन सी एफ एन एफ ए सब चीज आप इसके साथ कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर अगर इसके बाद आपका कोई क्वेश्चन आए तो आप उसे पूछ सकते हैं हेलो डॉक्टर साहब आप आ गए जी डॉक्टर साहब डॉक्टर साहब हाँ आपका कनेक्ट हो गया नेट जी मैं ठीक ठीक थैंक यू डॉक्टर साहब इफ देर इज एनी क्वेश्चन हाउस इज नाउ ओपन फॉर क्वेश्चन Is there any question? Do you doubt yourself? If there is no question, I think so. Yeah, so. या तो किसी को समझ नहीं आया या सबको समझ आ गया जी ऐसा ही है कैसा ही है तो डॉक्टर साहब थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर ए एक्सीलेंट प्रेजेंटेशन एंड आई थिंक इट वाज अ वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव इंफॉर्मेटिव टॉक ऑन द सब्जेक्ट एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स फॉर देयर पार्टिसिपेशन थैंक यू सो मच